The great and the good from the world of technological innovation board a boat in Copenhagen for the European Inventor Award presented by the European Patent Office in cooperation with the European Commission. Since 2006, the annual award acknowledges the work of some of Europe's brightest minds. An international jury sifted through hundreds of applications until a final 15 were selected. Some of the brightest minds in Europe and indeed the world have boarded this boat. We will now go in search of the winners. The prizes will be awarded in this building. The Royal Danish Playhouse is the venue for the ceremony and Crown Prince Frederick and Princess Mary are in attendance. ...society and economy. That is why... And Professor Joseph Bila from the University of Heidelberg picked up a Lifetime Achievement Award for his work in the field of laser eye surgery. <laughs> Professor Bila invented the technology for laser eye corrections. The laser scans the eye in great detail and allows the mapping of defects in the iris. The sheer detail allows the surgeon to carry out precise surgical procedures and create tailor-made lenses. The technology has helped correct the vision of millions across the globe. Especially the advantages are for people with higher degrees of optical in deficiencies in the eye, so higher myopia, higher hyperopia, high degrees of astigmatism, which cannot be corrected with conventional means like glasses or contacts. In the non-European category, Dr. John O'Sullivan and his team from Australia took home an award for their work in developing wireless networking technology, better known as Wi-Fi. The researchers created a robust technology that would be as strong and reliable as cable transfer systems. The technology developed in the 90s forms the basis of today's wireless networks. The discovery came about as scientists were studying radio waves to investigate black holes. We now find uh, the technology uh, we invented in, I, I believe, something like three billion devices it, it is everywhere from uh, mobile phones, printers, computers, and also you know, devices we might not have ever thought of in, initially. In the industry category, the Dane, Jan Topholm, won for developing a computer-aided method to manufacture hearing aids. Dr. Manfred Stefaner from Germany received the award in the SMEs category for the development of the first fuel cell for portable use. And the award in the research category went to Dr. Gilles Goslin, who developed an effective drug for the treatment of hepatitis B. Why is this award important for inventors? I think it's a form of public recognition. Inventors are sensitive. We have evidence that previous winners have said the award completely changed their lives. Being recognized helps them find partners and develop their work. All aboard the boat with a very bright passenger list indeed.